The last three brand new effects I want to show you all came from Photoshop. They're underneath Photoshop's adjustment layers, and they are Vibrance, Black and White, and Selective Color. The reason these were added to After Effects CS5 was to provide more compatibility with layered Photoshop files. For example, if you added Vibrance to an adjustment layer to a Photoshop file, saved the layered file, and imported the layered file into After Effects, you'd want Vibrance to appear as an effect on this adjustment layer. So that's why they've added these effects. The nice thing is, is they've made these independent standalone effects that you can apply to any clip in After Effects, not just Photoshop layers. So let's go through what each of these do, starting with Vibrance. I'm back in After Effects CS5. I've got a piece of footage here with some nice colors in it, and I'll apply Effect, Color Correction, Vibrance. Vibrance is basically an alternative to saturation. It's very similar to increasing and decreasing saturation, but it's a more subtle, more refined effect. For example, if I was to take this scene and take saturation up to 100%, I'd have very garish colors. Let's take a snapshot of what that looks like. Take saturation back down to zero, and now put Vibrance up to 100. I have a more saturated image, but you'll see it's a lot more subtle and a lot more pleasing and a lot less garish. I'm going to pair my snapshot. This is what saturation looked like. It suddenly looks a little bit ugly, to be honest. And that's what maximum vibrance looks like. So it's a lot more subtle. Let's go to the other extreme. If I take saturation all the way down to minus 100, it's one way of creating a black and white image. And I'll take a snapshot of that. Now let's do the same thing with vibrance. Minus 100 you'll see I still have some slight tinting. This is like a hand-tinted black and white postcard as opposed to just a black and white image. And again, it's more subtle, more refined, and I personally like it more. And that's why, personally, I've been reaching for vibrance more often than I've been reaching for saturation. I've been using it in the camera raw dialog when I import files, and now that's part of After Effects, I plan to start using vibrance instead of saturation in those cases where I want to increase or reduce the amount of saturation I shot. So it's a nice little addition and will help add some class to your treatments.